Hello everyone, this is Devan Edwards, aka Devan the Connector, connecting you to the knowledge that will empower yourself. I'm coming live and um, I want to give like a recap on, I was at a three day online virtual business event and um, so many speakers there and so many um, paradigm shifting lessons that was learned pretty much. And one of those was, um, you can create your own economy. You, you can create your, create your own economy. And that's using that mental real estate that you have, your mind. And understanding our mind and working in harmony with the laws that govern how our mind works is essential. And understanding who we are, who we can be. Seeing and being the person we've never been before. And the person that we are destined to become. Because often we block ourselves. We we um we are we are we're, we're okay with ourselves where we are now only because we don't know where we're going. We are okay with ourselves where we are now. Because we don't know where we are going. Or maybe you might be uncomfortable where you are now. Because you don't know where you're going. But the bottom line is most, most people do not know where they're going. So it leaves them stuck. It leaves them not really thinking at their highest capacity. Not really operating in the way they know they can. And in order to like shift that paradigm and... shift that mental programming it's going to take a mental decision and a physical commitment a mental decision and a physical commitment and um i remember one um one of the speakers was actually lisa nichols um she if you don't know about her she's like an abundance life coach or something like that but she 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 told a story when she was of, of when she was broke and um she was going into the store and um, she, had a, she, had a, she had a son that she was buying some stuff for her son. And um, she didn't have enough money. She only had enough um, for what she called her uh, beanies and weenies. You know, like beans and like in the, in the hot dog, hot dog, little tins. Yeah, that's all she had enough for. She like, so I can only get enough, my, um, um, this packet. And um, it was funny because the, the, the son wanted a toy. And she said that um, spirit, well, spirit was telling her that, oh, go to this aisle. And then she went down to the aisle and then she, and then she saw this truck. And this is the exact truck that the son wanted as well. And the, the price of it was $44.99. And she said, to, she said to herself, I am buying this because okay, I'm only going to have some beanies and no weenies. I'm not going to have enough from no food, you know? And she was like really fighting with herself and fighting with um with 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 the spirit, fighting with her ancestors that was just telling her to was guiding her, you know. And she got to the checkout and she's like, I'm not buying this. And then she know then she said to herself, you know what? I'm let me just obey this thing. Let me just do it this time. Let me give it to um let me just go get this truck, you know? Let me spend this forty four dollars. And it was hurting her, it was paining her, it was paining her so much. So she got this, she got the truck, she got, it's called a Tonka truck. She got the Tonka truck for, for her son. And every day, she'd watch the son play with it. The son would, the son would just throw around this truck. Because every, every toy before then, that, that his, her son had, was, would break. But this time it didn't break. The son kept throwing it, and then went, hmm. Throwing it, hmm. Just, just playing with it, throwing it, hmm. And she watched it, and after a week she said, you know what? Let me let me try break it myself. So she tried to break it herself, and it didn't work. And then the son just kept playing with it. Hmm. And in that moment, she realized that when she obeyed something that was gonna be serving her higher good, she found she she related that experience to. An experience where she had to make a hard choice to change the construct of her life. 
She said, I had to make this decision that I would be unbreakable. Like nothing is going to stop me from moving where I need to be. In the same way that that Tonka truck was not going to break no matter what you did to it. So you can, you're that Tonka truck. You have, there's, there's something within you that's unbreakable. You are that Tonka truck. You can get through anything that you decide to get through. And finding those moments within your life where you know you have been successful, you can use that as fuel to move even forward, even more forward. And I found that like powerful. And she said something, I've got some notes. So she said something, and I want you guys to repeat this as well. It's my birthright to be healthy, wealthy, and happy. It's my birthright to be healthy, wealthy, and happy. And it's your birthright to be healthy, wealthy, and happy and create your own economy. Say to yourself, I am a unique, unrepeatable miracle. I am a unique, unrepeatable miracle. It's about thinking, believing, and moving in that energy, which is going to push you to where you want to go and identifying who you want to be and what you want to do, what you want to experience um, in this lifetime, you know? And the, gro the, the, the goal of, like, even the cause of why most of us are here on earth is to grow. But even though, gro even though growth is the goal, it's still a process. Like, you, you, you're not, you, you don't start off a caterpillar and then, and then tomorrow you're a butterfly. No, 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 no. The caterpillar has to make its way up the tree, get, get, make all the preparations, get in that cocoon, and then let 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 the seed let, let itself harvest into that into that and transform. Certain actions, certain set of actions have to be taken place in order for that cat that cat that caterpillar to to transform into what is destined to be. But if there was any obstacles in that way, it wouldn't even become the butterfly. What if what if something came along, just took up the, the caterpillar, and threw it away? I have to start again. So those that's 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 something I wanted to speak on, and also um, at the event, Eric, Eric Thomas spoke. He's he's called the hip hop preacher, and he was talking about how we are enough. And we, we have to, we really, again, it's, it comes down to belief. We have to know that we belong here. We have to know that we are actually capable. And we have to tell ourselves what we want. We have to write down what we want. We have to feel what we want. We have to act on what we want. And then once we, because that, like, it's like when we, when we find out what we, what we do want in life, you have to do everything your power to move forward towards that destination. And what I mean by even creating your own, creating your own economy is that a lot of people are working and it's just causing more stress within their, their mind, body and spirit. And it's not something they're not even doing something on the side that is that's um that they're passionate about. So and and they still wonder why they are unhappy or they still wonder why they're stuck in the same place or, or, or stressed or don't feel like they're growing. It's because they're not shifting those paradigms. They're staying those in, in those habitual behaviors that's not serving their highest good rather than do, doing work, working, working um, full time on whichever work is stressful and stress, stressing you out, but not working part time on your fortune, part time on that passion, part time on that that thing that that will um, create those little increments of growth within your life and elevate you. And like, it's a, ask yourself, are you doing those things? Ask yourself, are you ready to like make a decision mentally and commit physically? Because there was another thing I was talking to my friend today, and. Um, it was just it's just mentioned about how like the universe will test you, but again, yeah, it may may test you, but how can you use that to your advantage? And that comes into like a metaphorical question, and that metaphorical question is a set of three questions, and it is, 
Are you willing? Are you hungry? And are you coachable? Are you willing? Are you hungry? And you are you coachable? Are you willing to to go through those tests that's required for you to actually accelerate and transform your life? If you knew what was required, are you are you willing to 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 take those those steps forward? Because most people aren't willing. Most people are okay complaining about stuff that's not even in alignment with their vision. And if you put complaints in front of the vision, you don't get the vision. Like, what's your vision for your life? And how much are you complaining in comparison to envisioning the ideal life that you want? Because because it can't be balanced. It can't be more complaints than more 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 visualization, more visioning. It can't. It doesn't work like that. Fear and faith can't shake hands. You know. So. Are you are you hungry as well? Are you like really passionate about working towards this goal? Are you really passionate about this certain thing? Are you passionate about art? Are you passionate about writing? Are you passionate about health? Are you passionate about wealth? These things that you're passionate about, they can drive you to create your own economy, create your own work, create your own um, opportunities to grow, you know? Um, and then you have, are you coachable? Are you coachable enough to to follow any steps that's given to you that will allow you to grow? Because you have so many courses. Like, you, you if, let's say if you go, if, I remember if you're in, in school or if you're in university or at work, and then, then you're given you're given a certain set of instructions, a certain set, a certain set of um, a syllabus that you have to follow. Most people that um, get full marks. They followed the instructions. They followed the syllabus. People who didn't, didn't follow it. Pretty simple. And the same happens um, in terms of how we're transforming our life. There's people, again, it's, it is from getting from where we are now to where we are, where we want to go or where we are going. Um, it's not much of a question of what to do. It's how to do it. And I remember Dean Graziosi, he said, you, you have to turn that how into who. So in terms of your associations and who your, your environment, who do you have to speak with? Who do you have to know? Who do you have to uh, um, associate yourself with to get to where you're going? It's really about the who and the how. Because once you know who it is, and then you can just be coachable enough because you're already hungry and willing, you could you then have to be coachable enough to follow that 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 to, and emulate the process to success, in order to get to that to that um to where you are going and where you are where you're destined to go where you want to go. So, again, it's all those factors that's involved, and um, I'm going to speak a bit more on that on another some other videos, but I really wanted to leave that with you guys. And um, I'm just grateful as well because we're in a time where you can literally create your own economy. You don't have to be um, affected by the inflation that's taking place in, in, in the outside economy. You can create your own economy by creating your own opportunity, creating your own business, creating your own... Um, your own extra source of income or extra source of um, entertainment or wh whatever it may be that you're passionate about. You can create that right now. Like there's free, re there's resource. It's about being resourceful. There's the resources are there, but you can be resourceful enough to even use it and take, take full, take full um, ownership of it, you know? And that's why I love, love, love being an entrepreneur because I can create my own economy. I can provide a, a service, I can provide a products where um, people will benefit from it no matter how the economy is, not, no matter how um, the economy may, may be. Because, you know, people people love, um, people need people uh, need to be healthier. Um, and then people want these certain things. People want to travel. People want 
to be more emotionally intact. People want um, more, more, more freedom. If even it's just a, just a little bit or a lot, and people want to be more clearer in their mind. People want to be feel feel better in the in the body and the spirit. People want to be empowered, but again, sometimes there's no direction. But you can create that eco ecosystem where the direction's in place, and and facilitates that growth. So you got you got to ask yourself: um, Are you in the right environment? Um, are you associating yourself with the right people? And is your mindset right? You know, so it's like you have to have that personal development and the economic development. Something that's fueling your mind, like you have a, and then something that's fueling your economy. So it's like, what's helping you? Um, yeah, what's helping you grow your mindset? What's helping you build wealth? What is helping you gain more peace of mind? You know, it's just it's all these it's all these factors, all of these factors that's that's um, involved, and health freedom, location freedom, time freedom, being able to use your time wisely, time freedom, emotional freedom, health freedom, financial freedom, all these things are possible. And again, I'm I'm happy and grateful that I'm in an ecosystem where all of those things can be tapped in at once, you know. So before I get off, I just want to say drop in, drop one in the chat if you want to find out how to create your own economy and empower your mind, body, and spirit. Type one in the chat um, or one in the comments of if you're watching this video. And I'm gonna sign off. This is the Van Edwards, aka the Van the Connector, connecting you to the knowledge that will empower yourself, stay empowered, and just remember, the connection continues to get.